everybody, sorry for the jump scare immediately at the start of this video, but I wanted to give you all just a quick little channel update. As quite a lot of you guys know, I have a second channel where we upload all of the streams kind of as they are going as we're recording a project. I know a lot of people appreciate the VOD re-uploads, however, I can see that 25 to 30 hours of footage is quite overwhelming and intimidating. So starting today with this project going out, we're actually gonna be doing a thing called Supercuts, where day and date of a project's release, we'll have a supercut of all the streams in case you wanted a more condensed version of that background noise. It's just to make the stuff a little bit more accessible if anybody is interested in the streams, but also views like 25 hours way too much, but they still want to follow along with like the general storylines. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, sorry, this one took far much longer than it probably should have, but I hope it was worth it. Are these rocks going to kill me? Uh, oh, oh, God, they will kill me. We'll see how excited you are to join the Legion in about five seconds here. Hold on, let's see if we can pickpocket his talent first. Oh, there's no talent in there. Let's play hypotheticals for a minute here and pretend that you have advanced knowledge that something tragic is happening to you 30 days from now. You know, something real bad like war, famine, your parents suddenly moving the family to Chicago. How would you spend your time left? Okay, be, be serious now. Nah, a serious question demands a serious answer. Our hero today is Max Keeble. N not that one exactly. Not nearly as f fucking cool. God, he's so badass. Just a wood elf. Just a regular old wood elf. A pathetic one at that, but one whose mission shares just enough DNA with his cinematic counterpart for me to continually make stupid jokes about a 2001 Disney kids movie. <laughs> in the Max Keeble cinematic universe, commonly referred to as the Keeble-verse, the lore kicks off with his parents saying they're moving. In classic Keeble fashion, he uses this as an out to get back at bullies, cause chaos, pranks, essentially collecting as many cool kid accolades as possible in a limited amount of time. If we ignore the cringe aspects of this character, like empathy and sacrifice that true Keeble heads just like me view as non-canon, you get... This version of Max Keeble, who's got 30 days in Skyrim to survive, grind, smash and bash his way to power, because at the end of 30 days, the world is ending and he'll have to stop it. Here are the rules. Our wonderful lab rat Max has one month in the world of Skyrim to accomplish as many objectives and collect as many accolades as he can. This includes joining a faction, completing a faction quest, buying property, attaining Thanehood. All of these objectives have point totals assigned to them, and these points matter for one reason we'll get into later. We'll be playing using my old Iron Man rule set slightly modified. Definitely suggest watching that video first for some background, but I'll summarize quickly here. All equipment used by the player, armor, weapons, potions, must be crafted manually. This is the main progress blocker of this entire rule set. Trading with vendors is banned, with one exception, we can buy spells. Instead of permadeath like last time, today we've got a different system. Expert difficulty with survival like we usually do here, and it's worth pointing out now I'm still using Ordinator for my perks. This mod is incredible. 30 days are on the in-game clock, here's how you can make the most of it. This process is neither scientific nor guaranteed. Please do not take any of this nonsense seriously. This guide is not affiliated with Disney and or the official Max Keeble Cannon. Day one, da da da, where? Hmm. One hour, 12 minutes. That's how long each day in Skyrim takes in real time. Multiply by 30, you got 36 hours of playtime flat. Now that's not including time spent in menus, leveling, trading, etc. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. There is sleeping, I forgot about survival. Now, if we assume a healthy eight hours a day, we're down to 24 hours left, still plenty of time. Sun feels good, huh? Nothing feels good right now. Okay, you need carriages, those will those will cost us a bit, that'll add up. Like a garbage mobile game, we now have multiple currencies. Gold, which we are pretty limited in finding, and time. An ever-shrinking wallet constantly having its budget drained by mysterious forces. This, I assume, is what having children feels like. What the hell went down here?
You've got to be shitting me. There's no, 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 no. Death will also claw at that budget. Five hours a pop, along with a random gear slot we'll have to recraft. The name of the game is efficiency, and if you want to be efficient, you need your priorities straight. Woodcutting axe, pickaxe. The only items you won't be crafting simply because you can't. In your initial mad dash of stockpiling crafting materials like flowers and insultingly tall butterflies, come on, come on. Why? See, this is why I shouldn't have played Wood Elf. Everything's too tall for me. But this is just ridiculous. These two items are paramount to kicking off your journey. I notched a few wolf kills, a bit more stressful than I would have liked. Why did I convince myself there was a pickaxe here? Where is it? Let me let out my anger. Ugh, damn it. Oh no. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He's coming. He's coming towards me. I really don't want to do this, but I will. I'll eat all of my butterfly wings, or at least a good amount of them to survive. Ah, see, now I wasted the butterfly wings. I'm too good at combat for my own good. And in record time for the channel, I have my character clothed. Usually in my videos, I'm naked for quite a while longer. You won't be changing from Leather Scout. It's cheap, offers some protection, and very replaceable should you lose it. This will keep your crafting budget stocked for other more important things later on. Hey, that means our mobile game has three currencies now. That's kind of fun. We're a daily login bonus away from, well, now that I think about it, we're kind of already there. Where are the guards? Officer? The world will end in 30. Yeah, I know the world's gonna end in 30. Uh, why is white, why is white run locked? The mod that applies the quote, end of the world timer is called End Times. I became interested in it a while back watching this channel, Formerly Blue. They make awesome, awesome stuff. Definitely check them out. However, I guess this mod locked me out of Whiterun, so I'll need to make up for some of the time I've already wasted. We'll talk questing, point scoring, and whatnot later. What matters now is getting this gate open and your initial gear setup ready to go. Need a boost in speed? Have no fear. It's not stealing if they don't see you do it. If I'm sneaking while I steal a horse, do I get away with it? No way! That, that is like a thing. Oh my gosh, we're gonna save maybe five minutes. I'm going the wrong way. Oh my goodness. I gotta deliver a message that the world is ending in 30 days and I'm doing a horrible job at it. Hold on, hold on. Opportunity. Another nice. Day, another victory. Nice kill. And I can take nothing. <laughs> Not a single thing on him I'm allowed to take. Fig oh my, stop it. Are you serious, you narc? I watched you commit murder in cold blood. I gotta get rid of this bounty. Oh, he's a two-handed. I didn't realize he was two-handed. Horse, horse, help me, help me, help me. Oh God, oh Jesus. <laughs> this is so, pull out your bow. Uh, how do we kill him, how do we kill him, how do we kill him? There we go. Okay, he goes with the bow. Nice. And we gotta back up. I just have to create a level of separation to which he pulls his bow back out. And then we kill him. Here we go, he's back to his bow. Where's my last witness killed notification? My bounty should be gone. Do not tell me that bounty stayed. Wait a minute. There's no way the horse is the witness, right? The horse is the witness. This is just not smart. This is not. Get up, get up. Horse killed. Objective complete. Tell me my bounty is gone. Dragon heads for Riverwood. I must speak to the Yarrow. Wait a minute. That makes zero sense. If I was able to walk from Helgen all the way to Whiterun, wouldn't the dragon have easily been able to fly to Riverwood in that time frame? We, we have to go get a pickaxe. Come on, boys. I've become an expert at this strategy. Uh oh, uh, Rocky's not in a good position here. You won't be paralyzed. Too easy, <laughs> too easy. Come on, haven't you ever watched the channel? 
They're clearly not subscribed. Oh, it only took us an hour. I wasted so much time. I'm already performing poorly. That's so pathetic. <laughs> it's actually kind of sad in a way. People of Riverwood, there is a danger among us. Someone do something. Yes, Somebody I agree. Somebody should do something. Another day. Another. <laughs> She's so casual about it. Ah, this happens all the time in our village, friend. Nope, no, 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 bad, 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 very bad. Oh, so bad. You've got to be shitting me. There's no, 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 no. Oh, no way. A fucking mud grab? Dude, dude, no, we can't do that. After suffering your first death, that was most likely the result of a weird glitch of some kind, something in the back end. You know. Make up any gear progress you've lost quickly, because it's time to start putting points on the board. Given your lack of aptitude as a combatant, there's no better faction to join than the one with weak rivals like the Elderly and Sunblock. The walk to Riften is relatively safe too. Relatively. Yeah, you thought you had the best of me, didn't you? Oh, that... I, I have to run. I can't, I can't best you. I surrender. Maybe let's try focusing on enemies a bit more your speed. You know, set your sights lower. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is this damage output? This is just awful. Lower. I'm not letting you get away. There you go. Before you know it, you'll be a warrior in no time. After some brief food chain climbing, we've made it to Riften. I'm gonna murder an old woman. Very much looking forward to it, actually. You're not planning on hurting anyone with that weapon there, are you? No. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, standing there with two swords. You're not planning on hurting anybody, are you? Uh, no, no, I... This isn't the orphanage, is it? Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes Growlid. You think because I'm a what elf, she might mistake me for one of the children? <laughs> Today's letter of the alphabet, children, is M for murder. Yo, this kid kind of looks like me when I was a kid. Mainly just the hair. Although I wasn't lined up like that. Sleep well. No, terribly. You kidnapped me. All right, come on. I got a limited amount of time. World's in danger. Dragons, you know, end of times nonsense. Hey, you guys remember when we designed this place? That was fun. Okay, if I want my friends at the Dark Brotherhood to really like me, then we should go for extra credit. Did I win, Astrid? Did I do it? Oh, crap. We're so far. We're so, so, so far. This is a long haul. This is going to sound really goofy, but I kind of want to take lockpick and I want to take bear traps. If we're going to be doing assassination missions, I kind of want to be assassinating people with bear traps. Plus, I can craft them. Can I afford a trip to Falkreath? I hope it's only 20. Don't give me some crazy price like 50, Thayer. F 50 is just outrageous. I can't watch. I can't look. Wait a minute. If everybody's at the execution, then that means nobody is in their shops watching their coin purses. Hey. Yeah. No, Kate. You you can't see me. You can't see me, Kate. Oh, no way, Kate. You fucking narc, dude. Why did I have to go into the one place that would be guarded by a child? You're not supposed to be here. Where did all these extra people come? Honest gold or honest work. Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, 
All right, Dark Brotherhood. What is the music of life? Ooh, I know this one without even looking it up. Jonas Brothers Year 3000. What? No? Uh, that one romance movie from 2001 starring Obi-Wan. It's not Moonlight. How? Silence, my brother. So edgy and scary. Ooh, <laughs> you. Excellent work. It took some legwork, but you've officially joined your new needlessly edgy family. Astrid, I'm home. I am honored. Okay, that's so ass kissy. I'm honored to be a part of your family. It took quite a bit, but that's one point on the board, hopefully opening up a deluge of scoring. I've heard quite a bit about you. Hey, you're Dexter Deshawn. You're Dexter Deshawn from the popular video game, Cyberpunk 2077. Save the niceties for now. Uh, hold on, uh, how do I, I need to translate this into cyberpunk lingo. Astrid said you'd have some work for me. Astrid said you got some gonk for me to zero. Where's the scratch? There are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. Or it's perfect, he's my fixer! What the heck is that? What the hell is that? What mod do I have? Your targets are the beggar Narfi. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. An ex-miller named Enodius Papias. He lived just outside Angus Mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. And Baytil, a mind boss. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytil's angry and desperate. A fighter. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Let's get started. What the fuck is happening to my game? What are they shooting at? Oh, me. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Uh. Ah, fuck. Ah, uh, this is not good. I feel like an assassin. I feel like Max Keeble. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> Wait a minute. WWMKD. What would Max Keeble do? He doesn't run from danger. He runs towards danger. I'm going to get jumped. I can sense it. I'm getting jumped as soon as I open this chest. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. All right. All right. No, this is actually lore accurate Max Keeble, though. He would definitely get into some hijinks like that, where he steals from somebody, and then they'd all start shooting arrows at him, but he would use his, like, Max Keeble abilities to just not get hit. He would avoid the danger. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking... Watch Max Keeble. Y'all are getting on my nerves. All right, the anti keebleism in chat is getting crazy. Max Keeble sounds like a rated E for everyone Max Payne. No, it's the other way around. Max Payne is an E-rated Keeble. He wishes he was as cool. Like Max Payne? His wife and child were murdered. Max Keeble really wants to become popular in school. <laughs> now you tell me which one of them's going through a harder time. Is that Talscar again? Why are you attacking me? Tal Talscar, why are you attacking me? We're going to be all right. We're going to move forward. Talscar is going to keep following us. No! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my goodness. You think you can take me? Uh, I don't remember ever offering to. Ah, oh, God, I ran out of stamina. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He missed. Why did I use all my stamina again? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up on the rock. How did he miss? He had me dead to rights. I was dead. How? I might die here. I might die here. Ah! Ring again? I don't have a ring. 
No, no, no. Calm down, Mr. Berenstein. Oh, God, why? Oh, man, I didn't think you were actually going to go through with it. Uh, you know, I thought I thought maybe we had come to an agreement or something. Pull, pull, put the pole in his way. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Get in the water, get in the water, get in the water. Get on the thing. Get up. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this stupid ass bear. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> sure thing. It's yours for I'll show you to your room. Alright, we'll get up bright and early. Bear traps. I <laughs> this is the dumbest we've done. This kinda reminds me of that one scene in Max Cable. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? You didn't think to try and run farther? Is that his hiding spot? He was like, oh god, the assassins, they're here! Uh, this isn't good. Oh, 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 okay, there's four of you. I surrender. This could not be going worse. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. Uh, what kind of position is that? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't surrender. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'll get rid of it. I don't want to. What if I lost track of where he's at? What if I lost Narfi? This is the only way I'd be able to find him. That was awful. All right, we made it to the town. Relatively unscathed. Ooh, do I have enough health? You know what? You know what we can do to kill this guy? Okay, we gotta get creative. I don't have a lot of health to expend on combat, but we know that these mud crabs are powerful. Please, someone do something. His dagger won't be able to hit him. Oh, come on, finish the job. Astrid's gonna be so proud of me. No, 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 not again! <laughs> not again! Okay, two down. Which one of you chatters created an entirely new Twitch chat or Twitch name, Twitch account, just to follow the channel under the name Maximilian Keeble? Oh, it's freezing here. It's so cold in Dawnstar, you just start dying. <laughs> as soon as you step outside. This is kind of like Minnesota when it gets really, really cold. <gasps> There's our victim. Do we go for it now? I, I guess we just do it. All right, Bear Trap, don't let me down. Oh, uh, it worked. Now I have a bounty, though. Oh, oh, this is a problem. I surrender. You got me. You got me. I got to pay off the bounty. We can't waste time. Look at this. Look at this. This is my max speed. We are really in a bad spot here. I've got, you know, hardly any food. 38 gold. My equipment still sucks. Hopefully we're able to take out our target here. But I mean, things are not boating all that well. Let's observe what kind of route does she take? Oh, she's cooking. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This could not be better. She'll eventually stop cooking, so we go bear trap. State your business or take your leave. We go two in a row. And we wait. Some may find my determination feeble. No, maximum. For I am Keeble. Here we go. What the fuck? No, that's not how it works. Okay, that's not, no. That's not how it works. It does not work that way. You've broken the rules. You have cheated. Okay, new plan. New plan. New plan version two. How does that not? How does that not work? Stop it. No, I will use the bear trap. Attack me, Betild. You won't. Ah, all in a day's work. This is why we do not invest in the lockpicking skill. 
To put all of this into perspective, when you account for traveling both on foot and via carriage, sleep, and the fact that we died twice, this one quest costs us close to three days. Three days for three points is not efficient, but we did discover a few things. Paying off bounties will always be better than losing a day or more in jail. This is just kind of one of those fun little things that I think applying a time limit makes you think about the game a bit differently. We also discovered a new combat tactic in bear traps. This is gonna sound strange, but with Ordinator, it's tied to the lockpick skill tree. It's a tad janky. Uh oh, oh, you've got him. Oh, come on, did it just go through the- Okay, it's very janky and application of the traps feels very hit or miss, but trust me, just trust me on this one, folks. Most notably, we found that our damage output was complete ass. Dual wielding just, uh, eh. I, I mean, I wanted to switch it up, but dual wielding, it looks cool. I'll give it that. It's just cumbersome. It's limited. With precision, I just kept hitting the walls. It was annoying. Oh, and a healing spell. For fuck's sake, buy a healing spell. I should have enough time to push the archer power attack and then move. I'm an idiot. I am uh, not smart, very stupid. And there he goes, all oh, my alchemy ingredients. Once again, I don't know why I always forget this, but there's something to be said about the feeling of pure regret I feel having not purchased one, and instead I find myself shoveling butterflies into my mouth because a traveling frat boy decided he wanted to fight me. What? I don't understand, what did I do? Is it the Max Keeble talk? God, and he's tanky as hell. Since you're still likely underpowered at this point, you want to forget about quests, points, and the like. Tune out the inevitable end of the world and go into a brief Iron Man hibernation only focused on the grind. The next few days were spent building up a bank of ores, training on some weaker enemies, testing our new bear trap strategy. Uh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, bear trap, I'm sorry I ever cursed you. Like we throw it right here. Wait, no, child? Stay behind your elder. Don't do it. Run around the trap. Don't go immediately. Oh God, that was so close. You know, keeping things to the low risk areas around Whiterun to protect our time limit. <gasps> where, where, where did it come from? On the road? How have I gotten the same roll? twice now. Aside from a few mistakes, we did a decent job in this section stockpiling for the grind in the present, but more importantly preparing for the inevitable future. Yes, you're gonna need XP, but prioritizing your overall bank of crafting materials should be the goal here. Fast healing? Come on, come on! That's not even close! <laughs> Sailed right past him! Come on, give it to me. Right up the ass. Boom! <gasps> oh my God, there's like four Rocky right in front of him. You gotta do some damage. <laughs> All right, there you go. See, it, it just took him a few seconds. Nice, got a hit. Come on, Rocky, finish the job. Finish him, Rocky! Ah, oh, you almost had it. Please hit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I am the master of deception. Forty-four iron ore. Look at that XP. <gasps> Wait a minute. We also want to do silver. Why is silver better than gold? So there's certain silver jewelry recipes that will take the excess jewels that we have, like garnets, ruby. Gold will only take the highest level ones. Amethyst, I think we can do with silver. Gold only takes things like diamonds, sapphire. It takes the much more expensive and rare gems. Hey, does anybody know where we could find a good concentration of just silver ore? Oh wait, Karthwaston's just a town. And it's pretty close to Markarth. It's gonna have some of our crafting stuff. I know where we're heading next. Come on, hit, hit. Ah, oh, Todd, you fucker. Oh, don't, oh, through the fog. It's not even. Ah! 
Someone has to stand up to them. I won't sell. Easy, I'll sell. Good work. Here's your cut. All right, finally. Climb and back, and we'll be off. You ever met one of them cats? Khajiit, I think they called themselves. All right, Astrid. What you got for me, ass? You must go to the city of Markov and speak with the <laughs> Yeah, backtracking sucks, but you'll get used to it. The Dark Brotherhood has come, Moiri. Why would you say that? The door's not even closed. What I need is for Elaine Dufault to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. Yeah, but my sword's really cool. Have you seen my sword? Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. It's really interesting, but have you considered my sword is made of gold? Excellent. I want you to kill someone else as well. Wait, why do you want her dead? I can't ask why she wants Nilsine dead. Okay, <laughs> all right, well, Nilsine will die. Moiri? I can't believe my family trusted that bad little s**t. You tell her she's dead to us. You hear me? Dead. Wait, why? Can you explain? Oh, who stepped on it? Easy, easy, it's just assault. It's just assault. Stay right there, Nilsine. That is a powerful ass bear trap. Mm. Chicken, do not walk forward. Whatever you do. Don't, no, no. Bag away. Oh, oh, the, God damn, she's slippery. Oh my God, why does it always have to be Lonely Gale? <laughs> Man, she's still at the market, shopping and moving and discussing and talking and I hate her. Come on, Nelsine. Do it. This fucking guy. Oh, I'm just ready for this to be over. There, that's what you get for shopping so much. I hate this game. Why is it gotta be backpack every time? It's always backpack. It's been backpack three times now. Now I'm over conumbered. I think I can make another backpack though. Yeah, yeah, we're all right. Zero witnesses, clean murder. All right, and if the trap doesn't get the job done. No, I trust. Of course, why? Why did I trust it? Die, die, step right on it. Unbelievable, this is, this is out of control. I have nothing to say to you. Ah! Come on, bear trap. How does this keep happening? <laughs> How does it keep happening? Why is it backpack every time? That's gonna hit me, unless I can move left. <sighs> well, you must have all those annoying gods on your. <laughs> I hope there aren't any more. Ha! 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 Very funny, Elaine Dufont. Very hilarious strategy. This is when it lands on sword. It's gone backpack every single time. This is when it goes sword. Ring, we're safe, yes! That's why we gamble, folks. That's why we gamble, because sometimes you win. Well, you must have all those annoying... Over here. That works so well. Got him, target down. Woo, I'm out of here, losers. I did not think we were gonna be able to complete this quest.
We burned about 30 hours for that quest, so not the ideal level of efficiency we want for this adventure, but also not disastrous. We're getting a little bit better. The next chunk of this run took about two days. I'm mostly gonna skip it because we've got far more important things to detail later on. It is worth noting though, because this is where that idea of making efficient use of in-game time started becoming more clear. Following our last assassination, a cutscene takes place in which you are forced to cozy up with the Night Mother inside of her lovely corpse tube. Um, <clears throat> excuse, oh. oh. After a thick discussion with your guild members about what it smelt like inside the tube, Dexter Deshawn has more work for you. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. Here's where things really started to click. Your first target is a bouncy vampire named Hearn, thankfully just a short run from the sanctuary. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> I didn't mean to, chicken. For now. Are you a witness? Yeah, we can't have that. I'm not taking a 1,000 bounty back to Falkreath. Nope. Now, the second target of this quest, Lurbuck, all the way up north here in Morthal. But rather than making this move in a straight shot up north, Let's make these adjacent moves to the side and knock off some early game content along the way. You see where I'm going now, all right? We're cooking a little bit. Bleak Falls Barrow a short run from where we're at. Dragon Claw for some cash. Dragon Stone for obvious reasons. Another short run to White Run. Join the companions, that's a point on the board. Kill the dragon, save the galaxy, and congratulations, you're now a Thane, whatever the hell that means, because apparently nobody respects the position anymore. All right, we get one free crime in town. How should we use our new Thane ability? I'm the Thane. I am the Thane. I am the Thane of White Run fame. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure- why is that not an option? <gasps> I thought I could get away- But I'm the Thane! I'll be free to go. That was worth it. Fuck Heimskir, that was worth it. Whatever. A thousand gold? Pfft, who cares? I got the money to cover it. Four points for both achievements brings us to 11 in total, and just in case your concentration may have lapsed earlier, a brief reminder of when I said this. All of these objectives have point totals assigned to them, and these points matter for one reason we'll get into later. It's officially later o'clock, because for every 10 points accrued, we can activate one vendor for our personal use for the rest of the run. Let's play a little game together, shall we? The rules of this game are easy. I present a situation to you, the audience, in which your only objective is to share your opinion. Let's get started. Given the rules of this challenge, the goal we've set to collect points, and the path we've chosen to follow the Dark Brotherhood in an attempt to feel even one-tenth as cool as the venerable Max Keeble, which vendor would you unlock? You can't exploit inventory refreshes since that would burn valuable time. You gotta think about what inventory they carry, how it may benefit you, and how often you may naturally come across said vendor in your travels. What would you do? I think this sort of theory crafting is compelling in a challenge like this. It's fun to hash things out and weigh the pros and cons of one choice versus another and how it impacts a run, so I'll ask again, all things considered here, which vendor would you unlock? All right, full disclosure, it didn't end up being that impactful for me. Gold is already in short supply, but like I said, it led to some fun theory crafting and I'm interested to hear what y'all would have picked because I went with the most boring option available. Adrienne the blacksmith. She just felt too convenient. She's close to the gate, White runs a central location, emergency crafting supplies. She even carries the occasional enchantment, which we did take advantage of for an expensive, albeit useful upgrade. But enough of that nonsense. Get to Morthal and make it an odd seven points in two days time. All right, so you're the person I gotta kill? Lorbuck, you're tall. Or I'm short. I forgot I'm a wood elf. I'm short, they're not tall. Is the line for my next performance starting already? So why would you say that? Someone hired the Dark Brotherhood to kill you. I'm not saying I'm with the Dark Brotherhood, I'm just saying that someone did. There once was a stranger with eyes full of danger. He spoke not a word, but his meaning was heard. Sing on, sweet Lorbuck. Sing on. That sucked. Ooh, you are lucky that physics like you. Hold on, let's see if we can pickpocket his talent first. Oh, there's no talent in there. Yeah, they're not too happy with me. 
Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you? No, oh, no, that just feels like it's in bad taste. Uh, we gotta go. They couldn't go. They couldn't go five seconds without a Lurbuck performance. They were like, "How dare you!" Quick, rise, Lurbuck. Give us another one of your sweet serenades. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Yeah, this better be more interesting than my sword, or, or I will get distracted. Oh, that, I'm already distracted, you see? You're boring me. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target, the Emperor. Dude, I've only assassinated, like, two homeless people and a bard. Yeah. Yeah. The seal. Yeah. <laughs> that shouldn't have been as funny as it was. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth. There's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. All I guess I expected too much home. from you. I didn't think you'd get pinched. You are thieving. This I actually got caught. The problem is your disrespect for the laws of this land. How the fuck did I get caught and fail the easiest quest in the game? Wait, wait. Oh, Brynjolf, I promise I'm a good thief. Let me in. Don't get too worked up. There's no consequences here. I mean, have you ever looked at the front cover of the game? We're going to double up on responsibility here. The Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild have come to a perfect intersection for us where we can chat with Delvin, bully some merchants, one point for joining the guild, and you can steal an extra three because the first faction quest, as I'm sure you all know by now, is just next door. Okay, we're going to fight all the guards on the outside because I want the XP. Oh, wow, there, yo, there's quite a lot of you guys. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, his own teammate shot him in the neck. All right, two down, three down. Let's try and heal up. We're the Thieves Guild. We're all about sneaking. I don't know what's going on with my enemy hitboxes, but they are really struggling to hit me unless they have archer uh, bows. That's not good. That's tough. It's back. This is it's backpack every time. Wait, <laughs> we haven't gotten anything besides backpack. That's actually a really bad loss right now. Oh man. Okay. That puts me 46 pounds overweight. Maybe try, I don't know, being a thief this time? You know, utilizing the skill set you've developed with your work as an assassin and now as a trained sneak thief? Die. All right, assholes. You two. Bring it on. Go down, go down, go down. We gotta make up for lost time. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is not a bear. That was some Indiana Jones ass shit. I don't know what the rat did. He like teleported into the ceiling. He triggered the trap. The thing fell down, the fire was coming towards me in the hallway. <laughs> that was awesome. There's definitely somebody in chat right now who's going, dude, use the bear trap. Okay, all right, fine. There's one. Let's see how really overpowered they are now with our new investments in lock picking. Never should have come here. Activate him again. It does! It gives lockpick XP. We have to start using them more. Confirmed. Anybody else want it? Huh? You want the clamps of justice? Show me what you've got. I'll bring it on. Son of a Yeah, <laughs> these are awesome. We are getting a crazy amount of XP in this place. This was a good call. <laughs> I'm going to find 
trouble. Oh, you want? Oh, oh, you're, oh, we're gonna find whoever did this. Yeah, you'll find me, all right. Oh, there's so many of them. Uh, oh. Oh, hey, 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 now. <laughs> this is just so good. I'm never playing this game a different way. Is it over? You cannot defeat me. You can only hope to contain my excellence. What's next in the lock picking tree? We got we got bear traps, lockjaw. Your bear traps stagger victims stuck by the teeth, reducing their armor rating by 10 points per level of lock picking. Reduce their armor by 470. Placed bear traps are 20% bigger. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting all I'm getting all hot and bothered by the bear trap skill tree. Da -da. This has been a successful venture. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. Head to the Bannered Mare in White Run and look for Malice Machius. I hope you have something nice to wear because you're going to a wedding. Oh my gosh. We're gonna try and assassinate Vittoria Vici with a bear trap. I need the telekinesis spell. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. It's so good. Drop one of these bad boys down. Drop two for good measure. One down. <laughs> that easy. Okay, they don't want to. <gasps> helmet. I'm totally okay with losing helmet. Perfectly, perfectly fine with losing my helmet. Uh, gotta be careful, there's too many dead bodies. I'm not gonna be able to pick up my trap. Uh, he's caught on the hitbox. Oh my god, I did I did it again. I did it again. I stepped on my own trap again. I can't, I don't, I don't, oh, no. I never even dropped my helmet last time, so maybe I deserve that for cheating. All right, helmet and gauntlets are both gone. We're gonna have to recraft them both. Time to get serious now. Oh, well, I haven't looked at my bare hands in a while. Look how scrawny. <laughs> I, my, they look sickly. I don't want to look at my wrists. Ew. Spider down. Two down. Three down. Four down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we got a hit on him. That's good. We fall back to the next room. There's other bear traps. So hit him again. Come on, Hamlin. Any relation to Howard? Sorry, sorry. All right, target down. Oh, that was terrifying. That was awful. Anything that could have gone wrong there went terribly wrong. Placed bear traps are 20% bigger and more likely to successfully hit small or fast moving targets. They also rearm themselves two and a half seconds after being triggered. Automatic. I need the telekinesis spell. Do I, f is now the time where I finally use my bear trap on a real life bear? I won't be defied by a bear. What is he killing? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he came in really, really fast. Uh-oh. Oh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Don't, no, let's not do that. Oh, God, he got really, he got there really fast. I regret this. I regret every decision I've made in my life that has led to this very moment. Where are the traps at? Oh, God, he got there fast. Awkward pathing. Oh, my God, there's a third one. Uh, Fox. Ooh, go, be bait. Where are the traps at? Somewhere out here. If I can figure out where my traps are, maybe I can have a chance. Oh, you. Hey, there's a bear outside. Yeah, 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 you should help me kill it. Nice, 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 yeah. Head on in and behave yourself. Don't worry, I'm gonna be a really good boy. Never. 
Can we hit 99 lock picking by the end of this? Should I just make that the new end goal? <laughs> like max out lock picking. Oh. Telekinesis. All right, it's probably not going to work, but let's try it. <gasps> it works. Holy fuck. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need some practice here with telekinesis before the big event. I forgot how much magicka this costs too, so we gotta be quick with it. Help! Someone's being attacked! Oh! Oh, we got her! Oh, we got her! <laughs> Victory! The bear trap assassin has struck! You'll never take me alive, officers! I'm impossible to kill! Ow! 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 Okay, just because I'm impossible to kill doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Oh no! I was just about to sheathe. All right, all right, all right, all right. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. What's going on? Why would you? The guards have gone rogue. Please trust me, officer. You need me on your side. They're killing everybody. I can't go to jail. I can't go to jail. Absolutely off the table. We go to jail, we lose like seven days. Oh no. This might kill the run. It was so worth it though. We got good practice. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness. Oh, madam, it is all for you. You are blessed on this very day. This wedding is boring. I wish they had juggled. I'm with you. That's the first time I've ever agreed with a child in this game. Okay, we'll trap the balcony. But I gotta keep one on me. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, God, they're out here. Uh This is not. Good people of solitude. Oh God! <laughs> no, no, that was about that was about as terrible as it could have played out. But okay, we'll take your gems. Hey everybody, hope you've all enjoyed the festivities. Uh, everybody go home. You kid. Hey, we don't have jugglers, but at least I gave you this. All right, time to go. Wait, they're killing each other now. Is that? Oh shit! Oh, what an escape. Everything about that was awesome. The rush! Run, everybody. These guards are crazy. 360, jump, escape, land it. Oh, parkour, baby. You son of a... I'm dead. No! Ah! You kill one royal, and they send the entire army after you. Ridiculous. Oh, so deep. Enough. No, no. Away with you, demon. <laughs> Back. Stop, there's two. It, I, no, no. Slaughterfisher not allowed. Get up, get up. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh, fuck yeah, we made it. Holy fuck. Protect me, water. Dude. Somehow missed? You're washed? Your ass? <laughs> Literally worst dragon I've ever seen? Fuck. Astrid, I quit. Yeah, I'm putting in my two weeks. Well, 11 days. I'm over it. <laughs> the news is everywhere. It's been quite the journey so far, and finally, the points are a-flowin'. It's the home stretch. Time is short, and anything to help you squeeze some power out of the last few days will be welcome. I wouldn't blame you either for forgetting that the end of the world is on the way. It's hard to be existential when you're obliterating things with Looney Tunes mechanics. Go the other way. Ah, oh, nice, you pulled out your dagger, sweet! All right, we're gonna send him flying into the river. <laughs> a 
Earlier I taught you about ethical horse theft, and I did it for a reason. I haven't shown much of it since then, but aside from carriages, one of my main methods of getting around was claiming the free samples they have at every stable in-game. The only drawback of this method is that it, um, it typically ends in horrifying, brutal fashion. Come on, you can eat more arrows than that! Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 <laughs> don't, 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 you're making it worse. Luckily, the next Dark Brotherhood quest provides a more permanent answer to this problem by way of incredibly epic showdown with a government official. Why are you shuffling? Okay, these guards are way more intimidating when they shuffle. <laughs> They're scary. Hold on, I gotta think about this. Let me think, let me think for a second, officer. Hold on, they're gonna teleport me to Solitude, aren't they? How many guards are there at Dragon's Bridge? I'd gamble not many. Four? Maybe five? I don't think there's gonna be that many. Let's kill them. In cold blood, let's do it. There we go. Come on, Bear Tribe. Barry? That's your name! Barry! It took me a long time to name my new inanimate object something, but we've landed on it. Ah, almost. That's okay, Barry. You'll get it next time. That's okay, all right. Not everything in life is always gonna go your way. It's important that I impart these lessons upon you before you become a man. Atta boy, Barry! Now let me heal up. We just need a little bit more time. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Barry. You're such a good vehicle for me to commit crime. Last witness killed, 1,000 bounty removed. Onward to my target. <laughs> the world will end in 10 days. There's not another person I'd rather witness the end of the world with than you. Come on, Barry, get it together. I know you won't always be perfect. You'll make mistakes. Life is about learning. You're so badass. That was so fucking cool, Barry. I'm so proud of you. Oh, Gaius Morrow, he's pushing. This is your moment to shine. Nice. Oh, that's a big ass sword. That's a big fucking, that's a big honking sword. I gotta work my way back. Don't worry, Barry, I'll never abandon you. Bring it around town. Got another ranged guard. Ah, God, that was a good hit. Good hit. Nice, we need that guard dead. I'm just absolutely bamboozling them. Why won't you die? <laughs> Finally, he goes down. There you go, Barry. Ah, can we call it a truce, please? Yeah, this is not gonna look like a. Trust me, we have nothing to say to each other. My God, we didn't get a bounty. <laughs> we didn't get any bounty at all. We just got away with so much murder. That was awesome. What a father-son bonding moment, Barry. You got to learn all about high crimes and murder and getting away with it. Horse, 50 bounty added to Commander Morrow's crime faction. Haha, <laughs> you don't even exist. <laughs> Your laws mean nothing to me. Quest complete and now a whopping 30 points. Also, enjoy your new permanent set of wheels that materializes from the Black Lagoon. No more borrowing horses. Here's where the Dark Brotherhood storyline gets good. And by that, I mean the Elder Scrolls version of gets good. It goes completely off the rails. Cicero is upset that you got to snuggle up in the Night Mother goon chamber, so he runs away, but of course, not before leaving behind 17 different notebooks detailing his plans in depth. This leads into you chasing Cicero down, but remember to get your reps in along the way. Is there someone there? No, no one's here. I told you, no one was here. Why did you keep investigating? Emo I'm not that like emotionally intelligent, I guess. I'm quite- What in the hell just happened? You know, I gotta hand it to Cicero. This quest is quite the lockpicking XP farm. For that reason and that reason alone, you should let him live. Well, he's helped you out a little bit, come on. More importantly than this quest is your new secret ability unlocked by combining bear traps, telekinesis, and an invincible horse with a taste for combat. Damn it, Shadowmere. You're not helping. The power in my hands has become inconceivable. That is how we will defeat Alduin. We go one, we go two, we go three, we go telekinesis. 
That's the strategy. I mean, it, it is developing before our very eyes. Shadowmere, this is it. Our time has come. We have to practice our strategy here. We even have a giant to help us out a little bit with tank. But we have to see if we can apply. This is it. We got to go for it. We got to get close. He's on the ground. We have to hit this now. This is our only opportunity. That hits. That absolutely hits. Can we get two? Now ah, we got another hit. It works. This is it. This is the answer key. The final plan to save the universe is coming together. Ranged bear traps, a fat reward for finishing the Dark Brotherhood quest line, then utilizing those funds to make ourselves as powerful as possible for the final showdown to save the galaxy from permanent destruction. It's like a light bulb went off in my head. In order to kill the Emperor, you need a disguise, so you're off to steal a celebrity's identity. All right, here's our target. Hello. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. Oh, he's on vacation. That's fun. He's having a good old time by himself. Have a good one, Gourmet. Oh, you bastard. We almost got him. Oh, almost thwarted by the Gourmet once again. All right, Gourmet, I'm tired of your tricks. Uh, you've endured your last dash. No. That's bad, that sucks. That's so bad. More like diners, drive-ins, and die. Uh. You don't remember me, do you? Why won't you die? By Azra, the gourmet. I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. wait, wait, wait a second. So you're saying this guy, who's a high enough rank to likely be in tune with who may or may not be the suspect of a recent high profile murder that took place 17 feet away from where we currently are, who encountered that same suspect in a bridge battle that played out comically enough that it's absolutely memorable. That, 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 that's not something you'd forget now. Who made eye contact with and conversed with said suspect, who's doing the same thing now while he wears the same outfit he wore to both crime scenes. You're telling me he can't tell what the hell's going on? You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Nah, it was a trap. You know, that, that that makes complete sense, actually. Am I the idiot? All right, I'll show you guys what I'm made of. Ah! Run, bird. Ow. Oh, oh, what a shot. Oh my God, that was the coolest thing I think I've ever done in the history. That's it, that's it, I peeked, it's over. Oh no, no, cancel it, end the run, it's done. Another escape from the law in solitude. They don't really seem to tire of this, do they? And oh God, the entire guild is ablaze. Oh man, there's even more of them. Why did you put oil all over the ground? <laughs> that seems really silly. Again, you cannot stop me. Wait, which one of y'all is a werewolf? Why didn't you do all the murders? Why was it all, oh, oh shit. I don't want to die here. That'd be embarrassing. I don't know what the turret does. Okay, we're going to try the turret. This seems like a really inopportune, to, inopportune time to use it for the first time. But okay, go turret away. I stepped on my bear trap. How? 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 I've, I've been perfect the whole day. Don't be spell. Anything but spell, I am perfectly okay with. Boots, do not care. Get out of here. Whatever. Cool. Come on in. You son of a... Cheater, you're supposed to step on the trap. Kill Nazir's attacker. Oh no. Dexter Deshaun, he's under attack. All right, whichever one of you steps on this bear trap loses the fight. Oh my God. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I, I actually had a feeling that I was moving too quickly. Please. Anything but spell. Oh, thank you. So we lost necklace and boots. We lose 10 hours. Listen, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. Stop talking to me. Okay, all right, fine. We'll hang out with the night mommy again. Oh, oh, damn, 
Damn, is that a TOS violation? <laughs> Please. <clears throat> there is much I have to say. Emperor Titus Me the Second must be eliminated. Finally. Finally, you get to kill the Emperor. I bet he's somewhere really unique, you know? Switch up the theme here. He's in solitude. He's also in solitude. It's time to make use of all my stealth training that I didn't have. Oh, oh, another one. Whoop. Whoop, sorry, sorry. Try not to slip on your way out of the room. Wonderful. He doesn't even have his eyes open yet. Nope. God, how do they keep seeing me? You're sailors. How are you all light sleepers? <laughs> World record. No, that one has armor. Who's banging on the hammer? You're annoying me. Oh, I got to I really got to stop doing that. It's far easier to do than you might think. That racket, it's coming from in here. Would you shut up? You're annoying. Thank you. Are you the emperor? No, he's not the emperor. Let's send this one flying off the balcony ledge. Emperor? Come now. Don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. Wes Johnson is the emperor in this game? All right, turn around. Face the other way. Let's make this easy. Let's let's find a nice What should we kill him with? Ooh. How about a roll of paper to the death? No way. <laughs> okay. 40 bounty? That's it? Oh no. Oh god, the Emperor, he's shaking. Stop, stop, stop. That makes me feel uncomfortable and feel bad for killing you. You were cool. You know, you don't deserve that. Hey, look, he's got that little symbol on his chest. I think that's a Skyrim reference. Against my better judgment, Preventus, I'm gonna buy the house and take five points on the challenge. With a final score of 44 points, I feel good about what we accomplished. The spirit of Max Keeble lives on, the power of friendship is once again proven strong, and a willingness to rise against authority paves the way for a hero. However, one enemy stands in our way. 20,000 gold? Well, now 15,000 after property taxes allowed me to spend the last few days pushing my unlocked vendors to the limit, abusing alchemy, enchanting, acquiring as many soul gems as I could as the clock wound to zero. I'm gonna soul trap your horse, and I'm gonna kill you both. Don't run from it, I have to save the world. We have the strategy to take out Alduin and save the galaxy. We just need the ball to roll our way once the fight starts. I picked a thematic arena, prepared myself, and got absolutely obliterated. Doomsday has arrived. Alduin approaches. Oh god. Oh, oh, it's happening now. Okay, all right, now, now, now the thing is real. Are these rocks gonna kill me? Uh, oh, oh god, they will kill me. Well, this isn't a fight. What the hell? Yo, I thought I had a chance. Get inside, get inside the tower. I need cover. Oh, god. All right, maybe, maybe I can survive a little bit. Where's my horse? Is he just, yeah, he's in the sky, I think, just firing, like, cannonballs at me. Oh yeah, he's like, they're like, seeking me. They're heat-seeking missiles. There you go, Shadowmere, you gotta aggro him. At some point, oh, Shadowmere, okay, Shadowmere has him. We need him to land. Ow. This isn't gonna work. There's just no way. This just feels like a reckoning, not a battle. What? It's not even a fight. It's just a reckoning. 